we're gonna be following Dramatic Minds Entertainment as I set to release my EP, Pray for Mercy Volume 1, and also follow me as I start production on my short film, I Hustle. So get your crunk juice, coffee, and candy, cause it's about to get crazy. To Heavenly Father, watch over us and protect us. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Sosa, for real. Let's get it. Oh, what a feeling. Just waking up, eyes locked to the ceiling. Now I'm back when I was feeling. Niggas hang around and bitches were feeling. So I don't care. Some things happen you don't understand. I'm getting Welcome to the Independent Ground, the show that gives inspiration and tips to create a and entrepreneurs to music and film. I'm your host, Dramatic Gamma. Right now, man, I'm chilling with my partner, Sosa Woods. What's up with you, Sosa? Man, we just chilling, man. Man, me, if y'all know who Sosa is, man, I'm talking about, man, he had the city on lock at one time, man. You know, had a song with him. Um, you did a song with Papa Roo, right? Yeah, and y'all also can recognize him in the uh, Rich Boy video, Throw Some D's. So y'all go check that video out, man. And uh, y'all see so up in that thing. But, uh, man, what you got going on, man? You know, um, I know you you had the city on lock. You had a, a little buzz, a, a big buzz at that. You know what I'm saying? I know your songs were played in the club. You know what I'm saying? You were making your rounds from here to Houston. And then I know, you know, a little tragedy happened, man. You want to kind of just talk about what went on, you know, a little bit? You know, I always go, you know, I have a from music or whatever. Oh, yeah. Um, but I wasn't actually really recording no music around about roughly probably like 2002. Mm-hmm. You know, when I probably, probably wrote, recorded my first song or whatever, you know. Um, you know, definitely when I was recording on uh, from a kind of black or whatever, you know, down the street from me or whatever, yeah. you know. Um, you know, he, he put money behind me, you know, he pretty much believed in me or whatever, you know, and uh, I, I kind of really, you know, really started wanting to mess, mess around with him because I knew a couple of kids that actually were recording before I, before I did, you know what I'm saying? Like, like Mike Moe, my partner Mike Moe, oh, yeah. who had, they had the CDI, mm-hmm. uh, prime time players, I don't know, cares know about that. Oh, yeah. But, you know, prime time players and all that. Uh, but then, you know, I was, I was fooling with Rich Boy way back when we was in high school. Yeah. You know, and, you know, we was doing things or whatever, you know, we was always, you know, sharing ideas and, you know, just we both had, I had a passion for music or whatever, you know. Mm-hmm. So I started recording or whatever, uh, recording maybe one, two songs or whatever, and everything. I'm talking about back then, man, when I, uh, I ain't even know how to do a 16, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know a 16. I was just freestyling off the top of my head. Like, wherever I went, you know what I'm saying? Because you always know me around here freestyling and everything like that or whatever. So, uh, you know, finally, man, I uh, learned how to put a 16 together or whatever, you know. So, that was when I, after that, I recorded the songs or whatever. Uh, first song I recorded, uh, what song it was I recorded? Uh, the first song I recorded was a freestyle or whatever, yeah. when I had a little CD or whatever. And then I put like, I made a couple of little songs that, uh, you know, I really, I really, uh, I think, yeah, the first, first song I really did, man, was You Can't Stop, but mm-hmm. You Can't See. Yeah. And my partner Quail and Jibbo, and, uh, you know, all of that, whatever, you know, that was the first song I recorded, you know, I think they ended up, Somebody got it on the radio or something, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, that was the first song I actually did, man. So I did that. And then, uh, you know, I ended up doing one or two more, couple more songs, man. You know. And uh, so then I, I hooked up my partner, Black Man. And, uh, you know, he really believed in me, man. So, you know, just back when everybody was starting to get grilled out and everything. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, early 2000. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Everybody messing with old oh, boy crime, you know what I'm saying? Crime down there, you know, he used to all mess with flip and all mm-hmm. that. He was coming down here doing the grills and everything like that. So, um, my partner, uh, black man, some kind of way he got his grill. And I don't know, so it up with him, so, you know, 
he, he, he got himself a crime or whatever. So he called me down there and say, Miss Dale, so man, and say, man, uh, you know, man, what, what you think about, man, going to uh, Houston, man, mm -hmm. or whatever, you know? And me, I, I ain't going to lie, man. I ain't never been nowhere really outside Mobile except for New Orleans. That's where yeah. all my family from or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, he said, man, it, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about going down there, man. And, uh, you know, I know crime probably, you know, got some plugs on people or whatever. So, you know, being up, going down, you know, getting ready to go down there or whatever. You know, I ain't got no money. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna stand, I'm broke. Yeah. No money, period. Not a penny. You know what I'm saying? Black, look out for us. We go down there, you know what I'm saying, and everything. And, uh, we go down there and kick it a couple of days. And this is why, like, a lot of the cats, they end up getting national success. Like, uh, you know, for me and there, you know, Phil's all them boys, they were still kind of on the ground, they was on the break of, yeah. you know, going nationwide. So, uh, he was like, man, uh, you know, we go down there and crime. He was like, man, well, you know, who y'all want me to call, man, to try to, you know, do, do uh, a track or something with, you know, whatever. So, we get down there. You know, we, we ground a lot of them rap a lot boys because he, he knew so many cats. So, a couple, like Phil Ward boys, they came over. Mm -hmm. So, we met them or whatever and everything. And uh, so, he tells us, uh, you know, man, I can get anybody, man, anybody I want, you know what I'm saying, or whatever like that down here. I got direct contacts on. So, you know, he says, Devin, Kameen, now Paul Wildfield, Papa Roo, people like that. Yeah. And uh, at the time, I think, man, Papa Roo had just dropped that tight whip song with Malcolm yeah, with B. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he just had dropped that song. And uh, I found the black, none of them ain't know nothing about it for real, but I hadn't, I hadn't heard it, but yeah. it hadn't even exploded down here like that yet. It didn't explode to like way after we came home and all that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I was like, man, you know, man, I think, man, I think we ought to do a song with Papa Roo, man. Papa Roo, yeah. Yeah, I say, man, he, he, you know, he, you know, he from, uh, you know, legendary Cass Money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Legendary Cass Money records, you know, he sang all the hooks on. Oh, yeah. Juvenile. Yeah. Lil Wayne. Big time that. All, all that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, from, uh, what that is, uh, Hummers on 32, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, shoot for example. 400 degrees. All that, you yeah. know, yeah, yeah, what that was, rich niggas on, mm -hmm. um, 400 yeah. degrees, you know, all of that, you know what I'm saying? The man did count it, you know, ain't nobody, too many people he ain't work with, so, uh, I'm like, man, let's, let's choose him or whatever, yeah. you know, you know, cause he can do the hook and we, you know what I'm saying, we kind of rap, let's, mm -hmm. let's rap on that or whatever, you know. So, you know, that way it won't be taking away too much shine and whatever, you know. It'll be kind of, you know, spotlight on this, you know, yeah. so be kind of breaking out or whatever. So, you know, on top of that, he, um, he said, all right, I'm going to call Papa Roo. He called Papa Roo. Papa Roo come over there. He meet us and everything or whatever, man. And uh, he's like, man, you know, we going to kick it tonight, man, or whatever, you know. He just meet us and all that. So he pull up. Big by the beans or whatever, yeah. you know. He pull up, you know, we jump in with him, with him or whatever. We go to the club and kick it. So we go in the club and kick it, man. And I'm seeing all kind of cats down there, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it's a scene, like, I'm just loving it. Like, I'm just like, man, just wait till I get some money or whatever. I'm going to come back down here yeah. and try to make some moves or whatever. So, you know, next day, Papa Roo calls us. He tells us where to meet him at the studio. So we go to the studio, man, and uh, man, it's a big stupid ass studio. Like, mm -hmm. you know, they spend some paper on it, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Big, big boy studio. Uh, and, uh, you know what I'm saying? We go down, and uh, I ain't never seen no booth like that, you know. All the booth I had uh, recorded in, man, was, you know, probably smaller than any cloud that I ever seen, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. that I recorded yeah. it. So, man, we going out. And uh, you know, we recorded, you know what I'm saying, me, my partner Black, and uh, my cousin named Snow. Mm -hmm. So uh, we end up, you know what I'm saying, me and I recording it. And uh, you know, because I think, man, Rice was on the real tip. I think we, uh, we ran out of money for real. 
And we asked him, like, man, can we shoot him? You know, shoot him half now and shoot him the other half back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we like, we got him the car the song. And then, you know, when y'all go back to the house, y'all just shoot us, shoot me the other half back. Money, yeah. yeah, so, you know, and so we recorded the song. You know, we stayed down there a couple of days, you know, so we shoot on home. And, uh, you know, before that, you know what I'm saying, like I said, we was down there. And we in the miles, you know, with the grills and all that kind of stuff, man. So we just seeing all kind of crazy stuff. So we record, you know what I'm saying, we, we end up, I mean, we end up, we end up going, um, going back to the house or whatever. So we go back to the house, we got this song or whatever and everything. You know, ain't nobody heard it or nothing or whatever, you know, so. You know, upon the black, he get and um, he put it up, you know what I'm saying? He tell me, like, man, man, don't let nobody, uh, and he playing with you, so, man, don't let nobody get this song out, man. Don't let nobody hear the song yet, and all this, or whatever, whatever. <laughs> all this, and whatever you say, I ain't up. Because I know, man, he's so careless, he lose everything. So one day, I ended up, I think, we ended up, we ended up going to record, and this other guy, Steve, how we used to go to. This man leave the CD out there or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it just did with Papa Lee. Yeah. He left it out there. And uh, I ended up going back out there getting it, you know what I'm saying? So I got it, made a copy of it, put it up and say so. I was just about to ask yeah. you that. That was the only man, copy? Man, this, yeah, this was the only yeah. copy. And he just left it, and I know it, you know what I'm saying? He just left it, so. You know, I, matter of fact, I just went around him and I'm just listening to him, you know what I'm saying, talking about it, like, man, I know this man to see it and everything. Whole time, I got it. Yeah. I'm just, you know what I'm saying, trying to see, you know what I'm saying, what he gonna say. So I'm like, man, I, uh, I had, no, I didn't tell him I made a copy. So I ended up, I made a copy. And so, man, I ended up uh, taking it to the floor. You know, I don't know, man, I don't even know the DJ name, man. It wasn't Stretcher. You know what I'm saying? One thing I can say about Stretcher, man, Stretcher. But I always, you know what I'm saying, play somebody's stuff and look out, man, as far as I know. You know what I'm saying? I remember Stretcher used to always play all the stuff or whatever. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I ended up, I was trying to get them to play it. Like, man, I'll pay you, man, whoever the DJ was. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't even really play, play or whatever. I got him to play it, man, and you know what I'm saying? I saw the reaction I got off of it, you know. You know, it turned me all the way out. Like, I was like, man, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never seen this or whatever, you know, and all this or whatever. So, uh, you know, so I, you know what I'm saying? I had played the song a couple times, man, and, uh, I'm getting a reaction from, you know what I'm saying, from different places or whatever. So, like I said, my partner Black, he found out about it, got mad at me, like, man, I told you don't play all this. I said, bro, when he had a CD, man, if I wouldn't, you know what I'm saying, when the guy was in yeah. So, you know, we joked about all that or whatever, but, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, we ended up, uh, I think, uh, you know what, well, Magic had, Mr. Magic had came down here. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I think it was, he was he was leaving on uh, no limit. It was like in last season. Yeah, he was down there for a little bit. I, I ran into him and get tossed in. He used to be around here a lot. Man, man, when I say this man a fool, man, I'm talking about he was clowning. The same DJ that was tripping, that one play stuff and everything, man. Mr. Uh -huh. Mellon was cussing him out the whole night or whatever. Yeah. You know, he, you know, when I guess he, he came down here, he supposed to have all his songs uh -huh. ready to go and all that or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So. We just imagine them coming down here, so we end up opening up for them down there at the Static City, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Static City, that was, that was the place, that was the spot of that day. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Down, downtown Dolphin Street. Yeah. I was in the middle of the day. I remember you seeing you up in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, man, I what crazy, man, I wasn't never no club person, man. Mm -hmm. I ain't never used to go to no club, man. I had went, I, I think, man, I had the club I went to, first club I probably went to, man, like, just really went to. Like jazz or blues or something, man. Yes. That was like good. I mean, uh, like they used to have like uh, college night. Mm -hmm. So I remember like college students, they used to be, you know, no people, know what I'm saying, um, just tripping in there or whatever, man. So, we, like I say, Mr. Magic came. I think we, uh, we opened up, uh, me, me, C. Nile, and, uh, and there's, you know what I'm saying, we opened Mr. Magic. So, man, you know, 
Shoot, man, we just get a, a response, man, out there or whatever, man. And, you know, I'm just like, you know, man, I, I really want to do this, man. But at the same time, you know, I'm trying to figure out, like, man, you know, how I'm going to do this, like, you know what I'm saying, how I'm going to get money to record, you know what I'm saying, how I'm going to do this and everything. Mm -hmm. Even though my partner Black, you know, he was putting money behind yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was putting money behind me and everything and stuff, man, but... You know, when you in the hood and you broke, man, and you know what I'm saying, you trying to, you know, everything just seems so far fit, but, mm -hmm. you know, it don't, it's your dream, but it don't seem like you can get to it. So, uh, this like, um, you know, a year, year after that, like 2003 come, man. Yeah. And, um, uh, you know, I'm still trying to record music and everything, you know. Cause I said, I said about it, man. I ain't even get to record a lot of songs, man. I'm probably recording like, man, like five songs, you know. Yeah. And uh, 2003, man. Uh, there it be, man. Um, Valentine's Day. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, I walk out the house early in the morning, man. Just like in the other day, I go down my partner's house, man, and uh. I go down there and holler at him, man, and everything and whatever, and we out there or whatever, you know. And shoot, man, uh, out of nowhere, you know, car just pull up, you know, shoot. You know what I'm saying? Crazy, yeah. man, you know. My back turned, I don't see none of it, you know what I'm saying? Bam, you know what I'm saying? I'm shot multiple times, you know. And, you know, my whole world spinning, I'm running like man down, you know. I get shot, you know, I ain't did nothing to nobody, bro. You know, yeah. I'm you know, I don't get into it with nobody. And nothing like that, but you know that's just where it comes where you have to be careful, you know what I'm saying? You have to be careful. And uh, you know who who you have around you, man, because you don't know what they've been to do or none of that, you know what I'm saying? So that's right, man. I got, I got shot on something that had something to do with somebody else, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, you know, I, um, I actually remember that day. I was riding through the hood, man, I heard about it, you know, and um, I was like, damn, man, I, too, I, said, I know two ain't did nothing to nobody, man, you know, and um, I remember coming out there to you uh, to see you in the hospital, and I was like, man, you still gonna do the music thing? You're like, man, you know, if I do, I gotta be around some positive people, man. And I see you still kind of at it, you know what I'm saying? So. Even though that did happen, but you have still been making moves, even though with that situation that you went Just imagine all the trials and tribulations. My lifespan, they placed a whole bunch of limitations. I'ma give you real talk, homie, I ain't rapping to you. Take it not, it ain't the wrong place at the wrong time. Pick and choose your friends close, cause they leave you flat.